Tin to Nature began back in 1993-1994 and it was from a development that we had coming from a organic salon product that we felt that could be used in a health environment and back in those days there was really nothing on the market like Tints of Nature and it was an opportunity to offer a professional hair product in a retail outlet. My background was uh, herbal medicine and dealing with health food stores. The original two founders were hairdressers and we fused the two together and Tints of Nature was born. Well, first of all, we have to acknowledge that that is the assumption, uh, certainly was the assumption when we first launched, but we've now been doing this nearly 30 years and the product stands on its own two feet. It performs every day around the world. Hundreds of thousands of uh, ladies are using it and it performs at a level which some would say is salon performance. We test every single batch in our factory, in our QC lab. Every single batch is tested on 85% gray hair and it works. So I would always say, give it a go um, and you'll find out the results are fantastic. Well, actually the company is all about the people. Uh, without people, we don't have a product. And without the people, we don't sell a product. We can't manufacture a product. So we have a, a philosophy in the company that it starts with the people and it's the product and that leads to profit. Without the people, we don't have a business. And I think one thing that people say when they come into the business, it feels like a family. We're one big family. We've had relationships with uh, staff and customers and distributors for some um, nearly 30 years now. Uh, and I think that stands testament to the, the environment that we try to create, the fact that people believe in what we're doing. It's not always an easy road, Sometimes we have to do things and we have to um, you know, make some difficult decisions and certainly over the current scenario we've had to um, really come together and really build as a family this spirit and uh, energy that keeps us going. But I think the one thing that's overriding is, is a feeling that we are doing the right thing. We're doing the right thing for the planet, we're doing the right thing for our people and ultimately we're doing the right thing for the customer. So part of that process is that Tinta Nature is now being certified as B Corp, which means it has to meet environmental standards and uh, packaging standards. We have recently introduced a 100% post-consumer recycled plastics in our bottles. For the last 20 years, we've been using 100% recycled cardboard, um, which is something that we did many, many years ago. And the next step is really to try and make the way that that's recycled in the environment and also with the consumer more easily to reuse that product. What we'd love to have is a complete cycle where that bottle is reused, it comes back, it's made into pellets and we can make it back into bottles and reuse it again. So we close that loop. Um, that's a, a dream, but we will keep working towards that and striving towards that environmental goal. So what we're doing by using those raw materials is not only benefiting the client, the customer, from the health point of view of the, how they use the product, but also we're benefiting the farmer, we're benefiting the land, and ultimately we're benefiting us all because the planet needs help. So it drives a behaviour change, and I think that's a really important thing to remember that organic certification is a standard that everyone has to meet. Anyone can say they're organic, but if you have a certificate that's authenticated, then that really gives you a confidence that the product's been used properly. Well, you just need to look around you to see what a beautiful part of the world we're in. But I think it goes to a fundamental root of the, of the business because it reminds us every day when I mean, we drive into work that we live in a beautiful part of the world and we need to protect this part of the world and in fact we need to protect the natural spaces on the planet. It allows us to remember that we are part of this world and we need to protect it, we need to cherish it. And also, um, I think you can see behind me, those amazing autumn colours. It generates ideas around products, around those lovely russets, those browns, those golds, that we can then reuse in a hair colour sense. Um, but I think fundamentally it's about the environment, it's about being aware of where we live 
uh, and blending in with where we live rather than working against nature. So, to sum up Tins of Nature in three words, I would say performance, the planet and sustainability. Dedicated and they have to put up with me, so long suffering. <laughs> Actually, it's quite humbling. Immense amount of pride um, with what we've achieved as a team, but it is humbling. And when you meet people who've used the product, who literally say they can't use hair colour because they react so badly to traditional hair colours, and they say that they've been saved by this product. And it sounds strange, that genuinely, if someone uh, has a serious allergy or irritation to a hair colour and they can't colour their hair and they're going grey maybe at a young age, that is a huge thing. So. It's an overwhelming sense of pride, um, but thankfulness that we have this ability to do it. And looking back at the early days, did we ever think we'd be here? No, we just wanted to make a product that was better for people and better for the planet. Um, but now being sold all over the world, it is immensely um, satisfying and, and I'm very thankful.